Tom Sawyer Whitewashing the Fence Painting by Norman Rockwell Words by Mark Twain Voice Paul Hodgson Tom appeared on the sidewalk with a bucket of whitewash and a long-handled brush. He surveyed the fence, and all gladness left him, and a deep melancholy settled down upon his spirit. Thirty yards of board fence nine feet high. Life seemed to him hollow, and existence but a burden. Sighing, he dipped his brush and passed it along the topmost plank. Repeated the operation. Did it again. Compare the insignificant whitewashed streak with the far-reaching continent of unwhitewashed fence, and sat down on a tree box discouraged. Ben, who had wandered up on his way to the swimming hole, said, I see you gotta work. Tom contemplated the boy. What you call work? Why, ain't that work? Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but does a boy get to whitewash a fence every day? That put it in a different light. Ben suddenly started watching every move, as Tom dabbed the whitewash on artistically, getting more and more interested, more and more absorbed. Then he said, Say, Tom, let me whitewash a little. No, no, I reckon it wouldn't hardly do, Ben. You see, Aunt Polly's awful particular about this fence, right here on the street, you know. I reckon there ain't one boy in a thousand, maybe two thousand, that can do it the way it's got to be done. Aw, oh, shucks. I'll be just as careful. Now let me try. Say, I'll give you the core of my apple. Well, here, Ben, now don't. I'm afeard. I'll give you all of it. Tom gave up the brush with reluctance in his face and alacrity in his heart. Boys happened along every little while. They came to jeer but remained to whitewash. By the time Ben was fagged out, Tom had traded the next chance to Billy Fisher for a dead rat and a string to swing it with. When the middle of the afternoon came, from being a poor, poverty-stricken boy in the morning, Tom was literally rolling in wealth. He had twelve marbles, part of a Jew's harp, half a piece of blue bottle glass to look through, a spool cannon, a key that wouldn't unlock anything, a fragment of chalk, a glass top of a decanter, a tin soldier, a couple of tadpoles, six firecrackers, a kitten with only one eye, a brass doorknob, a dog collar but no dog, the handle of a knife, four pieces of orange peel, and a dilapidated old window sash. If he hadn't run out of whitewash, he would have bankrupted every boy in the village. <laughs>